Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a Christmas school day in the life. If you were like, what the heck is Christmas school? Head over here and you can see all of the details of our Christmas school plans for the 2020 Christmas season. Now, today's day in the life is in collaboration with Abby, so after you have finished watching this video, pop on over to her channel and watch her day in the life because you're not going to want to miss it. So it is a Friday, and Fridays during Christmas schooling mean that there are at least three things that are going to be happening. Those three things are our morning basket, game playing, and a movie night. Those are the only three things I know for sure that you're going to see because we are super relaxed on Fridays. So come along and let's see what we get into. Emily, you want to go ahead and get the Advent book out and we'll start with our Advent? Yes, ma'am. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. Esther 4.14 There once was a girl named Esther, and she was an orphan. She had no father and no mother, but Esther had cousin Mordecai to love her. Esther was beautiful. More than that, her heart was beautiful. All right, so go ahead and put number 18 on the tree. One family had 13 grave songs, marking 13 children who had died. It gave Charles an idea for a story called Great Expectations, and it would be published in the all year round after A Tale of Two Cities. The story begins in a graveyard. A poor young orphan, Pip, runs into an escaped convict there, and years later, Pip is given the chance to become a gentleman and join polite society. After Great Expectations, Charles went on more reading tours. With so many broken relationships in his life, he took great comfort from audiences who loved him for his work, what you doing? I'm wrapping gifts. Are you being a little elf? Yes, ma'am. What are you wanting to go do? I want to bake cookies, please. Ready to make some cookies? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so here's our peanut butter cookie mix. You hold the bag while I cut it open. All right. Oh, I didn't cut all the way, did it? Hang on. All right, there you go. Go ahead and dump that one in the bowl. Great Ooh, job. That looks yummy. All right, and we're actually going to make a double batch. So Ooh. let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah? All right, you can cut this one open. I'll hold it for you. Like right here? A little bit further. Yeah, right there. Good job. All right, go ahead and dump that one in. Out the whole bowl. Just a tiny bit left. Okay. All right. And then I went ahead and pre measured the oil and the water so we didn't have to pour that. And then two eggs. So that's all. Let's make sure that it needs. So we already preheated the oven to 375, right? Yes, ma'am. And then we're going to take the cookie mix, the oil, and the water. So I already got the oil and the water measured out for us. So we're going to pour that in, then the eggs, and then we get to make the cookie. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna mix just a little while you do the egg. How about that? Yes, ma'am. Want me to go ahead? Yep, go ahead. Try not to get any egg in the cookies. It's okay. <laughs> little yolk isn't too bad. Yep, I have a towel. It's all right. All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is a cookie scoop. Here you go. Just get you a scoop full. Like that? Yep, make sure it's full, kind of by dragging it up the side. And then squeeze it. 
to get it out. Yep, there you go. All right, y'all ready for game time? Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, we got our snacks. Everybody's got a game? Yes, ma'am. All right, Emily, tell us what you picked. I picked Santa Cookie Elf Candy Snowman. All right, what'd you pick, babe? I picked Lumps, which is a dice game, and I like dice games. And I pick Santa Sleigh Ride. Spread joy around the world. Mm. All right, so I rolled six. a six. Ooh. And you beat it. I got a three, so I'm definitely not going to do it. Nope, Mama goes first. Woo! All right, so I go first, and my game gets played first. So Santa Sleigh Ride, here we come. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a two. Yeah, well, those are all going to come in handy eventually. Yeah, while we're sitting over here like struggling. Uh, milk and cookies, lose a turn. Six, you are in Paris, babe. Ooh, say hi to Paris me? for me. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you don't want me to hurt you? Oh, yeah. Or yourself. All right, I'll take my jewelry off so I don't hurt you. Daddy's ring is not too bad, so we'll put, let him play with his, okay? Okay. All right, you want me to shuffle? Yes, ma'am. This is my favorite game. Santa. I get it. Oh, no, I was last. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Cookie. I get it. <laughs> when you both slip, I'm like, uh-uh. Huh? Elf. 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 Candy. Snowman. Santa. 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 Cookie. Cookie. So Kevin is grilling out for dinner and Emily is outside playing somewhere because the weather is just so nice here today. And while he's grilling and she is playing, I'm going to sit here in my comfy chair and read a book. So we just finished up our delicious dinner that Kevin cooked for us and we are all going to go ahead and get comfy and cuddle up together for our movie night. We are going to be reading and watching the first Home Alone with a big old bucket of popcorn. It was three nights before Christmas and the McAllister family was getting ready to leave for vacation. Everyone was busy packing. Everyone except Kevin who was busy getting into trouble. Go straight to bed, his mother demanded. That's enough trouble for one day. Lying in bed, Kevin could hear voices and laughter coming from downstairs. Everyone was having fun without him. I hope I never see my family again, said Kevin. I wish I was home alone. <laughs> 